guys just woke up. How's everybody doing? Wow, fine. Right. 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 So you guys can do better than that, right? For Jesus, how's everybody doing? Fine. In Tatuape, we had a, um, a saying um, that I brought from the United States, and all my friends at Tatuape know, and I want to share it with you here at Libertad. Um, in the U.S., we tend to say, God is good. All the time. All the time. Right? So, God is good. All, all the time. time. All the time. God, God is good. Amen. Okay, so our missionary report this week, or for this uh, um, yeah. semester, um, is about Czech Republic. Um, it's located in Central Europe. It's the second most um, atheist uh, country in Europe. The official language is Czech. Population is about 10 million. And only one out of 10 people in the, um, in the country attend a church or even know of somebody that is um, a Christian. Um, if we look over here, we see that Czech is located right in the middle of Europe, um, right in Central Europe, and that's where um, our missionary um, offerings are going to go. Uh, this is a picture I, I found of Czech Republic, what it looks like. It's very European. Um, and the story in um, uh, our missionary rep um, report talks about a man, and um, he's from Czech Republic, and he used to be a lead singer and guitar player for a heavy metal rock band. Um, and he lived a very crazy lifestyle. He liked money, he liked nice cars, and he liked to have fun, right? But things didn't turn out so well for him. Uh, a couple of months, um, uh, within a couple of months, his father passed away. And it was very tragic for him. And not only did his father pass away, but his wife divorced him and took his daughter. And he was in heartbreak. So he felt like there was something missing. He just didn't know what was missing until he met a lady named Olga a couple of years later. And she was a seven-day Adventist. Um, but he had a, a little problem. He didn't believe in God. He was an atheist. And um, being that a lot of people from that area are atheists, um, he didn't really like God, want to know about God. He followed a, um, a atheist, uh, atheistic approach, and um, he believed in evolution and not creation. Um, but he liked Olga for some reason. They knew each other from their childhood, and um, he liked her. So he said, hey, you know what? I'm going to hang out with her. I'm going to get to know her. And you know what? Maybe I can convince her that God is not real. So this is what he believed in, right? He believed in evolution and not um, <coughs> he believed in evolution and not creation. But what happened is when he went to the groups with Olga, Olga invited him to go to the groups. He was always trying to convince everybody that God was not real within the the Adventists. Well, what happened was while they were dis, um, you know dis, uh, discussing creation and all these other things, the Adventists didn't really. Uh, argue with him. They just let him say what he wanted to. And um, Olga gave him a Bible. She gave him reading material and videos. And what did he do? He said, listen, I'm going to read all this information, but I'm going to read it to see all the flaws that I can find in this information. So he, he, she, she, she gave him the Bible, you know, Steps to Christ, all those good books. And he started reading them looking for um, mistakes. Uh, what he realized is that it takes more faith to believe in evolution than creation, right? Sure. To believe that we came from monkeys, that's pretty amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Go figure, right? <laughs> what happened is he finally got invited, um, Olga finally invited him to, she invited him to church again, right? And they started teaching him about creation, right? That, you know, Jesus created the world, that Adam, there was Adam and Eve, that uh, God created the world in seven day, six days and rested on the seventh, so he got familiar with all that. Then what happened was there was a camp meeting, and Olga invited him to the camp meeting. So he, as he was at the camp meeting, he decided that he wanted to dedicate his life to Jesus. He learned that the things that he was learning in the church were correct. They were things that came from God. And he started believing little by little in the things of God. The Holy Spirit touched him, and he started going to church, right? Amen to that? Amen. Um, he had old habits, though. He liked to drink and he used to smoke, right? He was a, a, a rock star, right? So he started praying and asking for help, right? And Olga also started praying and asking for help so that the Holy Spirit would touch him so that he would leave these habits. 
And what happened? God gave him strength, right? Like Samsung? Like Samsung, right? He gave him strength for him to stop drinking, to stop smoking, and stop doing the other things that he used to do. And it's very interesting, right, that he learned something. He learned that he shouldn't be doing all those things, right, that they were against God's law. But he also learned something else, that Olga was praying for a husband that did not drink, that did not smoke, right? So he was baptized. Amen. Right? Amen. And he fell in love with the woman that brought him to the church, right? So what did we learn here today, right? We learned that God answers prayers on his time. And his timing is always perfect. Amen. Right? Amen to that? Yeah. That he is not the center of all that. Well, the, the main character here learned that he was not the main character of his life. That Jesus was the main character of his life. And that God cares about all the small things and the big, right? They got married. Amen. Um, and um, it was exactly what God, what, what she wanted. She wanted somebody that, you know, was into healthy living. Somebody that didn't drink, that didn't smoke. And she, she got what she wanted, and he got what he wanted. <laughs> happiness, true happiness. He found, you know, that missing piece to the puzzle. Since he was a singer, um, he stopped singing in, in the rock band, and he became the, uh, the, the, um... Choir? But he became the... The, the conductor. Conductor, says the And, the and um, he continued singing in the church. So he dedicated his love for music to the, he put the right focus towards God and not towards the enemy. Um, our mission offering uh, helps people <coughs> such as me learn the truth about God as creator and savior. So this is Mr. Chet speaking. So our offerings this week are going to Central Europe to help, um, to help people like this man and Olga to be able to learn about the word, um, people that don't know about the word. So we're bringing the gospel to, uh, you know, um, atheistic countries. So that is my report. Over and out. Okay. Amen. You know, uh, my friends, I feel like uh, I'm getting in trouble because. <laughs> Never let me go. Yeah.